Hey, my name is Dakota Kelso. I'm a fourth year senior here at the University of Mississippi. I am majoring in music education, and this is how Jesus changed my life. So my family was off and on in church for many years, even throughout my childhood. Um, but about eight years old, we found a church to call home for, for at least four, about four years. Um, and there I was, I guess I found faith. Uh, this faith was kind of pushed on me through fear, uh, into the world type stuff that my teachers at the church would constantly tell us about how you need to be baptized. You better hurry. You better get there. You better get there now. It might be too late. Um, obviously that's very unhealthy and kind of made me feel convicted even to today thinking back on it. And at about third, when I'm about 13 years old, we left that church, uh, through, just reasons of our own and just wanting to find a new church home. Um, through that search, though, we would occasionally go to churches and my family ended up stopped going to church, stopped going to churches. So from about 13 to 16, uh, uh, I didn't have a church home and I didn't have any, you know, didn't really, I fell away from God and just kind of, that was it. Um, at about 14 to 15 years old, my grandfather died. And it was, I think to me, was the turning point because it was the sophomore year. Uh, I was getting into music, which is my major now. Um, and that was opening me up emotionally to the point to where my grandfather died. I think it kind of hurt me a little bit because he was almost like a father figure to me when I really didn't have a lot of role models in that area. He was. When he died, I kind of had a moment where I just didn't know what to do with my life. And then by the end of my sophomore year, before the, so before the summer into my junior year, I met who is my fiance now, Elise Jones, and she invited me to the Sinatobia Church of Christ Youth Group. Now, I was very skeptical because I ha I've already had bad experiences of church el churches elsewhere. I thought, well, this might just be another chance. And I don't want to be judged for coming back and having to tell my story of how I went in and out of the church. I didn't want to be, you know, just, you know, everybody has those pre preconceived notions of what people are that are like that. And I didn't want to be that. But I ended up doing it anyway because I wanted to. I decided for myself that I needed to find my faith. I couldn't rely on my family anymore to find my faith. I need to rely on my faith in my personal journey. So, ended up going for this church for about three years in the youth group, into the church itself. And I think it was one of the most revolutionary times of my life. It really gave me a new perspective on the meaning of love and hope and family and what it means to be a follower of Christ to the point of my senior year I was actually rebaptized on my faith and on my reason. I like I wanted to be baptized, not that I had to or you should be baptized. I wanted to be baptized at that point. And I think that's when I fully gave my life over to Christ. Now, obviously, like like you know, some college people, you know, the moment my first year of college is kind of rough. You know, I chose to spend my time elsewhere, and it really felt. It helped, really made me fall off the path of God and Jesus, you know, just stopped exploring and learning and about God and stopped really just devouting my life to him. And my sophomore year of college, even now to this point, I told myself I will never be like that again. Um, I will never be the person I was then because that person was this, was a mere image of my family and my past, and I didn't want to do that ever again. So they, that same year, my sophomore year, that summer into where I'm at now at the University of Mississippi, I got an internship at the Oxford Church of Christ Youth Group. That, the year, my sophomore year, that intern experience, and now with the RFC, and being on the University of Mississippi campus has just reformed my life and my thinking uh, tenfold. Uh, you know, I found hope again. You know, I found like, I found that God is everywhere and he's giving hope. And that was something that inspired me even to my youth. You know, I always wanted hope in a world that's so 
hopeless sometimes. And it, it showed me how much hope God actually, how much hope there is out there and that you can use just grasp. Um, it taught me how to love, you know, being in that in and out of, uh, with my family and stuff, loving's hard, loving people is hard because you don't develop relationships. And when you do, they usually just go away after a couple of years because you leave. So it was hard, but I think God showed me that love is unconditional. It doesn't what require anything to have especially with God you know that's where I think I truly fell in love with God is I didn't have to be someone else or I didn't have to or have to uh, adopt a certain way or a certain culture I could be me and love God and I think that was amazing and then most of all God just showed me faith faith that not just in him but his my the followers around me I was kind of scor scar scorned. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> I was a little bit, you know, terrified at first of having faith in others because of my past church experiences, where it led me in my first baptism, uh, where it led me to not go to church for a couple of years. I had, I kind of lost faith in others. But when I found my faith in God, I realized that I have to put my faith in other people. And now that's blossomed into so many beautiful friendships. And even to, you know, to the point to where in August, on August 7th, I'll be married to someone that has been the most biggest inspiration to me in my life and transforming my life. Um, but, you know, that's what I've learned. That's how Jesus changed me. And that's, you know, something that I definitely will always have in my memory banks, in my life you know, that those moments, because those moments made me who I am.